What is going on guys? Welcome to opening week of bowl games. We've got the first three on tap here for you. Nebraska State against East Carolina, Amarillo Armadillos against USC, and Midland State against Texas. So the two Texas teams squaring off. Yeah, so we are going to start here in New Orleans. We're playing ECU out of the Conference USA. They had a pretty nice year, 6-2 and two in conference play. We were 3-5 and five in Big 12 play. We need this win though. We're 6-6. Six and six. I don't want a losing season on my resume. We always put a lot of stock in winning our bowl games. So it's obviously, there's some pride on the line here too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm never one of those guys that just takes the bowl game. It's an exhibition game. Who cares? That's not my style. No, we have to win these games for recruiting next season and impressing the new guys coming in. So we guys, we can see that Nebraska State is still struggling on offense, cannot pick up first downs when it matters the most. And look at this, a big run. One of the first plays of the game for ECU. Anthony and Scott. Now we got a first and goal situation and a little flip in an option and Anthony Scott scores. So literally maybe eight plays. Eight plays and a score already for ECU. That's very bad. You're going to see here we're past midfield. We got a third and eight. And we are getting pressured and Willis barely gets the throw off. Not... Not ideal. We're going to have to call on Taysom Benz for a long field goal. Got it. And it's good. He right. didn't He didn't uh, win probably one of the best kickers in the college football land for, for nothing. For nothing. Lou Groza. So Willis has the ball again. We're going deep to Highshaw. A little short. Tim Irvin makes a stop. you got to get fit that ball over the safety. But we're going to go for it. Fourth and six. This is too long for field goal range, obviously. Gutsy play call here. And that was Not even close. horrendous. 4 of 12 right now, so 33% passing. We're not, we're not with it right now. Cirque's going deep, and Goodness. Williams. I pressed Y. I was going for it. Yeah, he didn't go up for the pick, but Jimmy Williams for 54 yards and a score. And Cirque, 5 of 5 for 85 and a touchdown. So ECU is laying the lumber on the Prairie Dogs yeah. right now. Well, you know, we talked about it a little bit uh, in last week's video, like, we know EC's passing game is not to be messed with, and we are not responding in kind, so we're going to try to run the ball a little bit with Pritchett up the middle here. This is the game plan that I had for you, man. I was You're like, right. dude, you got to run the football with this team. You're not wrong, but Highshaw will drop this. Another 8 of 20. 8 of 20. <laughs> Benz will get the field goal. Cirque's going here to bag it, and we cannot get the terrorist tackle. Finally. 9 yards, though, so they're running uh, no huddle here. Marching down the field, and we went run up the middle, and they go over the top yep. to Johnson. But there is a flag on the field, but it's going to be roughing the passer. So the touchdown will still stand. It's going to be 21-6 to mid part of the second quarter. This is not a start that Nebraska State wanted. But look at these moves. Oh, and look at Pritchett. the power by Pritchett. Pritchett. It might give you guys some life here after a 30-yard Scamper. Oh, yeah, we definitely need some momentum. We got high shot up the middle for 13. Somebody actually caught a deep throw. Yeah, how about that? So now we are going to go first and goal here. Willis is rolling out, and oh, no. A pass in the end zone and Perfect. intercepted. Unbelievable, guys. It's just the the things that have been gone that have been going wrong for Nebraska State continue into bowl season. They just have oh, yeah. not fixed their problems. No. We sort of had a look there, but... The DB kind of tailed back, and Willis, a.k.a. me, a.k.a. me, was not looking for that to happen. Brenneman, though, gets hit deep. So, again, we're, we got yards. We got some yards here, but we're not making anything out of it. Well, Brenneman's, like, your best playmaker. I feel like oh, yeah. he, needs to, he needs to be touching the football almost 80% of the time. And Willis uh, he takes a sack here. It's a 15-yard loss. Okay, so Ben's <laughs> is going here. He's gonna miss this oh, one. So he didn't shit. come through nope. when it mattered the most. There, it was. It would have been twenty-one to nine, but the Prairie Dogs yeah. will get the football back. And look at the, look at these moves and some power by Pritchett. He's continuing to put this team on his back. Yep, right up there, and Willis will sneak it this time. No fullback dive. We get a, a nice little sneak here. Willis will score, and we're finally on the board. We're gonna go for two, though. I don't know if this is a good call. Oh, you had him. You had a look. You had him. If Willis was a better quarterback, that's a two-point conversion. You'd only no. be down. You'd only be down four points. 
I mean, no, seven points, excuse me, I wasn't doing my math right. So th that's always a problem for me is I, I try to time the snap and then I'll move the player up and when they don't snap, I'll freak out and I'll press down on the left stick, which causes my player to lock, which makes me not yeah. get back on time. It's so. the change of camera, but yeah. I had to show that because it is kind of comical. Right. That you know the pre dogs there they continue it's like the culmination of what's happening in this game. Now ECU's doubled you up in score and the prairie dogs just seeming they can't get out of their own way here. But look at this, nice catch by Yarborough up the middle for 20 yards. A nice little scamper uh, to the right by Willis, and then he's gonna toss this pass complete to Tanner Brenneman for eleven yards. Touchdown, prairie dogs within six now. Okay, so we're still Looking, we're doing okay, but Cirque's gonna hit a screen here to Anthony Scott. Picks up four yard, or three yards on there. Excuse me, and it's gonna be third and six for us when we get the ball back. No, Willis, no, Willis. We're still trying to do too much on those options. Like, what am I gonna learn? This is crazy. I'm probably never gonna learn. I think that's three weeks in a row. Yeah, I keep trying to stretch it out to the very last second, and I just I don't want to accept defeat when uh, the option gets busted. Cirque's going to go low to Johnson oh, down nice, at the... Nice tackle. One yard line One there yard. for Quay Johnson. But that's a really good gang tackle. So now you got third and goal at the one. What is the play call here? We're just going to roll on punt block. And uh, you're going to sell out. We, gotta, we need that stop. Third they, and goal. They do goal. have two wide receivers on the outside here. A little motion to the left and the tight end. Get in, boys. Get it. Oh, Cirque gets rid of the football. Or he might have just gotten that, like, it might have looked like he was throwing it and it just came incomplete, but that's still, I mean, he, he got he got hit hard. Yes, First and ten, and Willis is trying to throw deep. Still nothing. Nothing for the Prairie Dogs has been deep. No completions deep. Uh, right. Other than that one catch by a yard, or, uh, Brenneman. Brenneman early so on. So we still have a chance in this game. We're just going to set up a fourth and four here with two minutes. We're down by eight. And I'm running people to the line. I'm not... Just not wasting any time. I kind of like our unit out there, and we're going to give this a shot. Fourth and four. I got... Oh, I think I had Y. Yeah. I I now that y. you're watching it, yeah, you might have. Yeah. But uh, not going to get this done. But you are calling timeouts now, so you are trying to uh, get the football back. You're still, like you said, you're down eight. Prairie Dogs finally call their last timeout, so you got to get a stop here. Third and two. This is the game. This is the bowl game for the Dogs. And a nice tackle for a loss here on defense you're going to get the ball back second and 10 nice completion there to Highshaw. and you love that route for Highshaw. first and 10 looking for a Highshaw yet again now we're up past midfield all right 23 all right. yards there first Come and on. 10 now give me some pass complete oh, oh i thought he had the it drops i can't take the drops at this team and we, we need emilio vivaldi next year 17 high shot. seconds and high shot comes up huge 23 yard touchdown for the prairie dogs you guys are down two it finally worked you gotta get the two-point conversion this is a play that you love roll out smash oh and bourgeois turn. didn't turn into the end zone and guys this game is gonna be over ECU takes home the wow. W. I lost a bowl game. That's never happened. <laughs> yeah, it's a bitter, <laughs> I try not to lose those. bitter pill to swallow. But there's a couple big plays, and you know what? That that one kind of looked like um, New Orleans and Minnesota. New Orleans and Minnesota. Very similar. It's in a dome. Yeah. You got a gold team versus purple team. Yeah, it's and it's in the Mercedes Benz dome. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Even yeah. though the game was actually was in Minnesota, in Minnesota, but yeah, Either still, way, dome. similarities are striking. Yes, they are. All right, so we have, here we have Midland State versus Texas in the New Mexico Bowl. And I think there's some implications here just in terms of uh, interstate pride. Some bragging rights on the line here. Big time. It's a Texas game. Oh, yeah. I mean, anytime you get two Texas teams, there's, you know, there's some, a lot of these guys played each other in high school. You know how, how it goes. Here's St. Buchel, though, going up and incomplete. Oh, caught. Wow. He caught that? Yeah, that was a catch. What? What in the world? Oh, he but he tipped it and then yeah. he caught it on the, he on caught the, the deflection. Uh, wow. So here's Chris Warren, the third, takes Found it in it. for a touchdown. Quick start for the Longhorns. Midland State not in the best spot in the world. Here. That was a very quick score for Texas. That run by Buschel and that pass complete. Kind of got lucky with the pass complete, though. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, Chris Warren earned that touchdown. Just 
bowled over a couple linebackers. Yes, he did. So CJ Wicks here, he's going to have to bring it today, I think, if they're going to win. You know, Texas, they're always athletic on defense. It's always going to be a challenge. Now here's Wicks going to the sideline, short to Keller for no gain. So this is not really the best start in the world. No, it's pretty weak sauce right now. But Wicks, say. Wicks is four of four, but he's for eight yards. So they're not stretching the field at all. They're That's going, terrible. they're going parallel. They're going sideline to sideline. Yeah, it's uh, very lateral, not very vertical right now. Third and six, they will go vertical there. Nice completion. So it's going to move the chains. First and ten, Wicks has got time. Completed pass to LaShawn Wheaton, a diving catch, nice grab, and then look at this, Brett Kinnery taking that in for the touchdown, so eight yards, so maybe we were a little too harsh on Midland State, maybe we were just trying to feel out Texas's defense. Yeah, I, I, I like that scoring drive at the end there, that was pretty nice, so uh, here Buchel's going deep, and he got an <laughs> INT. Picked off, Ooh. nice, good team up on that to yeah, get that the interception. That's, that's Hobbs coming down with the interception. He got his own interception. That's, that's unbelievable. Second and eight now. And Wicks then facing pressure. Oh, no. Going the other way. So Gives it right back. Right, yep. Had one turnover. Now we got another. And look He's at this. Still this going. Still going. Still unbelievable. Going. Got to take him down, man. He was way past. He was beyond the 50. They're, they're 50. Boyd. Yeah, that, need, that play needs to be made. But this will set up Texas in scoring range. And he's looking into the end zone. Another... Okay. No, no. He I, I thought it. we had another he, he dropped it. drop and catch here. But field goal makes it 10 3. <sighs> Wicks going way deep. And ball's going the other way again. I mean, I mean you got to try it, though. You got to try it. Yeah, but put oh. some more air under it. I think this is the play that uh, actually knocked Buchel out. Look at this. Troy hit. Martinez. Boom. Laying the lumber. It's going to be 13 to 7, though. So Midland's only down six points. They can still they can still come back. It's not it's not out of reach. Even though Texas is the better team overall, Midland State definitely has a chance. But they're gonna have to make a little bit of a mini drive here. They're not gonna pick up the first down. So we got a minute two left to go, and this kick is up and good. So oh, at least they got three on the board. It's gonna be 13 to 10. Sam Ellinger is now in the game. And then he's got a complete pass here up the middle to Colin Johnson. Starting to move the ball up past the 25-yard line. But look at this. They are not going to elect to kick a field goal. They're going to go for it. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Makes no sense. If you're going to try to run a play there with six seconds, you go for the end zone. Nothing short. Right. So we're still in the game here. Down three. Texas is driving. They only see 131 yards rushing on the board. So... Texas is getting it done on the ground. Oh, bad, bad, bad tackling there. That's terrible. Kyle Porter is in for a 26-yard touchdown run. Like, I understand like, he made the first guy miss, but the second guy took a terrible route right there. Right there. I can understand that, but watch this. Boom. Oh, that's, I, I that's, that's bad. Sinister, isn't it? That's bad, bad, bad. Touchdown, Texas. going to be 20-10. to 10. Mid part of the third quarter here, 4-10 to go. And a pass complete to Myron Eckert for 12 yards. He got he got jarred, though. That was a really big hit. Oh, and here's the ball. Wicks, he shakes off the would-be tackler, but gets rid of it. Fourth down and one. So they're going to kick the field goal. It's going to be 20 to 13. So they're still down a touchdown. Ellinger is going to get sacked. going to be second and 13 day. now. And then second and 13, and we get another oh, sack. They, they were trying to set up the screen pass. But the defense was just too fast and got to him. So it's going to be third and 21. And now look at the defensive oh, line again. No. So Contavious Stokes King caused that pressure. Yeah. J.R. Romine picks up a sack. So good series there for the D line, really establishing their presence. So Wicks is going to be here inside the 30. It's going to be third and nine, right in front of the. Oh, he went backwards. He, yeah, he and then he was still up, by oh, the way. He was never really ruled down. But look at this. Kinnery, oh, with the stiff arm, and then he he He's likes running. The, yeah, yeah, he likes running to that left side. Yeah, he was happy. Shots. He was happy with that. So we're gonna get the ball back here. It's gonna be two minutes. Midland throws a pick. No! Oh no! No! Wicks, what right are you doing? In front of the end zone. Run the football. Three ints now on eight incomplete passes. Okay, so. Now what? One. Here's Claudio Kelly. Two, He's still going. Three, still going. Four. Still going. Five. They couldn't bring five it Five guys 
couldn't take him down before he runs out of bounds. And there he is again, making another good play. Here's another play for, I think this is Keller again. So second and three now. Yeah, Keller has been wow. he, utilized heavily on this he's drive. He's the real MVP on this drive. Yes, he is. Touchdown pass complete to Dylan Fowler for 10 yards. They're going to get it back, 27 to 27. And guys, we are going to overtime. Very fitting for the New Mexico Bowl. It's just that kind of game, isn't it? Yes. So Midland will win the toss. They're going to go on defense first. And they're going to have to hold up here. I mean, Earl Ellinger is having himself a pretty good game. I mean, he's not a he's not a scrub. He's just a solid quarterback. So. I'm just impressed that Midland State came back. Oh, yeah, definitely. After that, that seemed like it was going to break their back, honestly, yep. that interception. Yeah, I mean, we did, really didn't have enough time to spend on that. But, I mean, yeah, that was a crazy play. You throw a pick like that right in front of your own end zone. So it's going to be second and one for Texas. First possession of overtime. Nobody back there helping Ellinger out as pass protection. Pass complete here. Nobody guarding the flat. Going to be a big pickup. Going to get that first and goal. And they are now at the four-yard line. All right. No huddle. No huddle here. Interesting. Here's Ellinger still. It looks like it's going to be the same play. So if you're Midland State, you got to watch that flat. Got to watch that flat. And he oh. jumps the route. And an interception, a diving pick. Look at this, guys. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Full extension. That is probably the play of the night for these oh, ball yeah. games right now. And that'll set up an easy field goal for the win here from Beauchamp. Can he make it? He, he got, got it. it. He got it. So don't no messing around there for Midland State. Just run the football, get in, get some positive yardage, and make sure that we have a good spot to right. get that field goal. Don't don't put it on the left hash. Don't put it on the right hash. Put it right in the dang middle, and that's what they did. So Midland State comes back against pretty much all odds. I picked Texas. You picked Texas. Yep. I also picked Nebraska State. Yeah, we're not on the right track here. Maybe no. Amarillo can uh, surprise us and well, help us out. I, I picked USC. Right. So I'm. we might go 0-3. So, if Amarillo wins, that's a big task I, for them. I want to go 0-3. Yeah, the same at this point. Because that means Amarillo is going to win. Right. We will <laughs> see, though. I mean, they're gonna, going up against Sam Darnold. they got to fly out to San Diego. You know, this just is what it is. Uh, I mean, USC, number nine in the country, they got left out for some... Uh, lesser teams because the pack 16 can only put in two into the bcs so it's just the way that worked usc is probably the first at large team to, to miss so interesting scenario here but here's russell springer we're in the all blues today yes all blues just felt like it okay. just looked kind of cool with the uh, usc red and yellow long field goal here let's see if we can get it Got it. Good. Got it. So three to nothing early on. That's a that's a huge field goal. Yeah, I mean this. Uh, you know, if if Amarillo's defense shows up like that, if they can play like that, that's just to find great house with the sack. Like this game's not going to be that high scoring. I mean USC has the horses, but Amarillo, you know, they got the D. <laughs> So here's a great throw up here to Roydell Goolsby. Yeah, I love saying that in the Mel Kuyper voice. <laughs> Roydell Williams. You guys remember Roydell Williams? Look him up. Nobody remembers Roydell. Just Well, that's pro that's the fact. That's that's why it's so funny. Is that Mel Kuyper was all over this guy. All right, throw to Deontay Burnett. Yeah, see what Darnold can do here. It's the second quarter, and they got nothing. Yeah, Amarillo's winning this uh, winning this game six to nothing right now. Second and but goal. He's got to look. There's a touchdown. That's easy. That's easy, easy. Look at all the blue shirts. Nobody they covering were, Steven Mitchell. No, they were all over in the middle part of the field in the left side. Nobody on that right side, and it was just an easy pitch and catch. So USC, after all that work for Amarillo scoring those two field goals, it's just it doesn't even matter because USC gets the one touchdown, and that's good enough for the lead right now. And they're right back at it inside the red zone. Darn Arnold goes short here to Mitchell Jr. And they're going for it. Yeah. I, what is this call? I'd be, I would be kicking the field goal right here. But they but they're, get it. They're going to get it. So Ronald Jones, the Texas Tesla. Really? He's going to get it. He's not doing yards. anything in this game, though. They're not really using Jones very much. Going here on a screen. Barely stays in bounds to Jones. Five-yard catch. And they're going to hold here. So they get the field goal anyway. And then... Again, Amarillo, three and out, easy. Now yeah. here's Darnold here, third and ten, trying to pick up some more points before the half. Going on a screen. 
I think that's Ronald Jones yet again. It right. is. So he gets 18 right there. Third another screen. Six, another screen pass. Oh. And they're not going to get any positive yardage there. So good job by Amarillo's defense to hold them. But we got three seconds left, and they're going to attempt a field goal here. And this one seems like it's going to be good. It is. So 13-6. to six. So after that kind of a hot start for Amarillo, they have now given up the lead. They've given up. 13 points after his 6 nothing start. Yeah, and there's a reason why we're not showing any Amarillo offensive highlights right now. Because it it's, was so bad. It's constipated. There's nothing. So Darnold, though, gets a big sack here for Jamal McKinley. He's they a very that. good defensive lineman. Again, oh, a, another sack. Man. Big shot on destroyed. Darnold by Demario Chavis. Really, really nice play on defense. Hey, we got an Amarillo sighting on offense here. Ooh, finally. It's the uh, big tight end. Nigel best play they've had in uh, two quarters. <laughs> Second and six here. Got some pressure on Russell Springer. Pass complete to Terrell Moore. Second and ten. And look at this. I think that's that's uh, Myron Wallace Jones. Nope. Corey Pretty Davidson, deep. the backup tight end, I believe. Now here's Wallace Jones for one yard. It's going to be fourth and one. So interesting call here. Conservative calls is to kick it, and they, so do. they do. So it's going to be thirteen to nine. But yet again, Amarillo, Amarillo gets the football back. And a oh. almost interception there on the sideline. Going to be fourth and five. They will have to give the football back. Darnold facing some pressure. He gets rid of it. And Ladarius Best, who normally has some pretty good hands, just dropped the INT right there. And here we go. So fourth quarter, five minutes left to go. We got to get, we got to get a touchdown. Yeah, a really uneventful game. And the whole, I mean, it hasn't been much to talk about. But maybe oh. Wallace Jones can give us something to talk about. 13 rushing yards right there. Picks up the first down. Got a little screen pass complete. Springer took a shot, but got good blocking in front. And that's Wallace Jones. No uh, Rayshon Beckham sighting here late in this uh, fourth quarter. He must have been injured. But Springer going to get six yards. So we're relying on Myron Wallace Jones to win us this football game. Second He's doing and a good four. job. First and goal now. 13 to 9 still. And here's Wallace Jones going to get the touchdown, a late touchdown. Yeah, late That's hit. exactly what we needed. It's going to be 15 to 13. Only going to kick an extra point. It's going to be 16 to 13 now. 2 11 left to go. And Darnold trying to lead the Trojans into the end zone. Possibly just get, get them a field goal. It's going to be a do tie we, game. Do we have another point. overtime on our hands? We could. We could. We could. We could. Hurry up offense here with a minute 55 left to go. Second and three. Darnold dropping back. Got nobody in, nobody wow. pressuring him, and he makes a terrible throw. You've got all day, man. you got all day to make that throw, and he decides that that's the throw he's going to make. That's bad. That is very, very bad. Second, uh, 16, and thir 16 to 13, second and six, and getting out of bounds is Wallace Jones. Picking up 17 yards, a minute 40 to go. That's a huge run for them because now USC is starting to try to use their timeouts to get the ball back. Good, good, good and great blocking there by Amarillo. A minute two times ticking away. USC yeah, has should be taking knees here, I think. No timeouts left, but look at Wallace Jones in that blocking. They're going to put this baby on ice, guys. So Amarillo is going to take care of business in this bowl game. That's a shocker. A very, very, very much of a shocker. They beat a top 10 team. They hadn't done that all year long. Right. So we're going to end this video here. We're going to see you guys in a few days with round two of the bowl action. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yep. So leave a like if you like this thing, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.